There are two worlds, the world of comic books and the world of cold reality. In the comics, a blast of gamma radiation turned Bruce Banner into the Incredible Hulk. But in the real world, that same blast would unleash something far more gruesome and far less incredible. In the comics, Bruce Banner was accidentally blasted with a massive dose of gamma radiation during what was described as a freak lab accident. If this happened in the real world, we would be describing a very different situation, which we will get into later. But in the world of comics and science fiction, anything is possible. In Banner's case, it was a latent gene that absorbed the gamma radiation. It was this genetic anomaly that created the Hulk. The gamma rays acted as the catalyst, interacting with Bruce's pre-existing mutation to alter his DNA and create the indestructible green monster we know as the Hulk. The shy, brilliant scientist became something the world could never forget. Born not from magic, but from the raw, violent forces of nature itself. Why don't we do this the easy way where you don't use that and the other guy doesn't make a mess? Okay, Natasha. The Hulk is the physical embodiment of rage, raw power, and survival at any cost. I'm always angry. Gamma radiation didn't kill Bruce Banner. It remade him. It turned every cell in his body into a ticking time bomb of power. Every heartbeat, every surge of anger, now had the potential to unleash a creature of unimaginable strength, a force of destruction that could not be contained. He is emotional rage in physical form, fueled by the most violent and destructive energy in the universe, gamma radiation. In the world of Marvel Comics, Bruce Banner's transformation began during a test of an experimental weapon, the Gamma Bomb. In a split-second act of heroism, Bruce raced onto the test site to save a teenage boy, Rick Jones, who had wandered into the blast zone. Just as the bomb went off, he pushed the boy to safety, and a tidal wave of gamma radiation tore into Bruce, who took the full force of it with his own body. And something inside him changed forever. In the movies, there is a slightly different version that ends with the same result. At first, Banner's transformations were tied to the setting sun. Each night, he would lose control and the Hulk would take over. Later, it became something destructively random, triggered by anger, fear and pain. When Bruce lost control of his emotions, the Hulk broke free. The more anger Bruce felt, the more the Hulk became an unstoppable engine of survival. His muscles grew impossibly dense, allowing him to lift mountains, tear through tanks and leap miles at a time. His skin hardened into a near impervious armor. His body could heal from wounds in seconds that would kill any normal human. The Hulk represented everything Bruce tried to suppress in his everyday life. Rage, trauma, fear, and no matter how hard he fought, he could never fully control it. It all sounds pretty amazing, and in the world of comic books, they make it sound almost scientific and plausible. Deadly gamma rays gave the Hulk godlike regenerative abilities, strength without limits, and a body that adapted to trauma by growing incredibly powerful. It's a thrilling fantasy, the idea that the most lethal energy in the universe can recreate a human being and make him all-powerful in the form of a superhero. What? But what would have happened to Bruce Banner in the real world if the same event had occurred? We first have to understand what gamma rays are. They are pure energy, the highest frequency form of electromagnetic radiation known to exist in the universe. When gamma rays hit matter, especially living organic tissue, they don't bounce off and nor do they get absorbed. They penetrate and rip apart the molecular bonds that hold organic life together. They shred DNA, tear apart proteins, and trigger chemical chaos inside every cell they come in contact with. So what would have actually happened to Bruce Banner if he had been caught in the blast of a gamma bomb of that size? Puny God. In the first fraction of a second, Bruce Banner's body would have absorbed an astronomical dose of radiation. His skin would blister instantly. 
his internal organs would begin to hemorrhage, his blood vessels would rupture, every strand of DNA in his body would snap apart, erasing the basic instructions that allow cells to work and replicate. If the exposure is big enough, Bruce would likely lose consciousness within seconds. Death would follow soon after, as organ failure and circulatory collapse overwhelmed his body's ability to sustain life. Gamma rays are not selective and they do not enhance. They destroy everything they touch with cold, mechanical precision. Even if every law of physics and biology were set aside and Bruce survived the initial blast, his fate would still be sealed. Radiation poisoning would ravage him from the inside out. His bone marrow would be annihilated, shutting down his body's ability to produce new blood cells. His immune system would collapse, leaving him defenseless against infection. His gastrointestinal system would fail, leading to internal bleeding, vomiting and diarrhea. Hair loss, massive skin burns and neurological breakdown would be the slow, agonizing signs of a body unraveling, even melting from the inside. Gamma radiation doesn't sculpt new superpowers. It causes mutations that turn healthy cells into cancers. Bruce wouldn't develop invulnerability. He would develop tumors. Malignant growths would spread through his body like wildfire. Death by radiation is a long, agonizing decline. Look no further than the firefighters at Chernobyl. The comic book version of Bruce Banner and the Hulk is a fantasy born from humanity's deepest fears and wildest hopes. It asks, what if the most powerful forces in the universe can actually make us stronger rather than destroy us? It imagines a world where the most lethal energies in the universe don't kill and erase us, but forge us into something even more powerful. But science doesn't bend that way. Nature doesn't care about willpower or anger or courage. To gamma rays, a human being is just atoms arranged in a fragile temporary pattern. And when that organic arrangement of cells is hit with the power of gamma radiation, it gets torn apart in the most violent way at the cellular and microscopic level. Smash. Yet despite the scientific impossibilities, the story of Bruce Banner resonates and is a global fan favorite. In a world ruled by cold, merciless physics, the human spirit will always find ways to turn disaster into legend and fear into something larger than life. I'd like to thank you for spending time with us exploring the Incredible Hulk and gamma radiation exposure and invite you back for our next episode